The next step in the development of your resume is building your content. This is one of the most important sections, so you want to pay special attention to this area and focus on creating strong statements outlining your personal contributions, credentials, and qualifications. Again, the key is to create statements that directly address the hiring manager's posting and not just list out general statements. To get started, the top section of your resume should always include a header. Your header is where you should include all of your relevant contact information. Here are a few things to keep in mind when creating your header. Don't overwhelm the hiring manager with information to get started. In addition to your name, one preferred email address and one phone is sufficient. You want to keep your email address professional. If you have an email address that could be open to interpretation, it's best to err on the side of caution and simply use one that's straightforward. You can create an email address just for your job search if you feel that would be helpful. Finally, most employers use LinkedIn, and so if you have a fully branded and complete LinkedIn profile, you should include the link. This gives the employer another source of information on you and can help you stand apart from other candidates. The next section of the resume is the professional profile. This section is recommended as the first section of your resume directly after your header, and it's important because it's designed to give the employer a snapshot of what's to come. Hiring managers only take a few seconds to review a resume, and the first thing they see can impact their decision to move forward with your resume. It's your chance to grab their attention and start discussing why you are the best candidate for their position. Some areas you can highlight are your years of experience, credentials, and attributes related to the position. You want to discuss why you're a good fit for the position. You want to think about what additional value you have brought to your past work and how you can bring that to this current work. And you want to outline areas that you have consistently been commended on. Again, everything you discuss should be related to the position and help the hiring manager see you as someone who can come into the position and add value immediately. Here's an example of a professional profile tailored to a specific position. Feel free to pause this video to review. In summary, you want to be concise when creating your header and summary, but you also want to make sure that every word counts. Following these guidelines for your header and professional profile will help you to create strong, customized statements that grab the hiring manager's attention.